We'll start with Susan Slusser. Bob, obviously a lot of things go wrong for you guys in that sixth inning, but it starts with the error by Marcus. He's been so reliable for you defensively the last few years. Do you, do you say anything to him after something like that in a big situation? No. I mean, you know, that's what team's all about. And then we got to try to pick it up. You know, two out, nobody on. And, you know, next thing you know, they got four runs. So you got to give them some credit, too. They hit some pretty good pitches to get to that point. And, you know, even uh, Brantley off of Diekman. So they were pretty relentless after an opening that inning, and they took advantage of it. What did you see from Wendelkin after the error? Um, you know, just gave up some hits, probably some sliders in the middle of the plate. I think the one he threw to Springer was pretty good. He just went out there and hooked it down the line. And then the one to Altuve, over the, even though it's off the bat a little bit, it's probably the, the worst pitch of the inning that he made. Martin Gallegos. Hey, Bob. Um, we, we've seen Chris Bassett be, you know, so good with his command um, the last month or so, it seems like. Um, what did you see going on kind of with him in those early innings, um, especially in that, that fourth? Yeah, yeah, it just looked like some balls up. You know, you, usually he's, he's able to pitch up and down with his cutter and his sinker side to side. Looked like every ball that was up uh, was more in the middle of the plate, which he typically doesn't do. Um, so yeah, I mean, just a, just a rough outing. He's had a string of really good outings, but they made him work and, you know, scored some runs. We still had a chance, you know, Petit came in and cleaned it up, but again, you know, the sixth inning ended up being our toughest inning. Melissa Lockhart. Uh, when the Astros bullpen came in, they didn't allow a hit the rest of the way. Um, talk about what they were able to do to your hitters. Well, they pitched pretty well. I mean, they have some guys with some velo too and, and matched up a little bit. We just didn't, you know, have the at-bats that we typically do at the end of the game. We did them, you know, toward the beginning, which, you know, we've had some trouble with. So you, you, you feel like no matter where you are after the, you know, we go into the late innings that we have a chance to come back, especially after having a pretty good offensive output early on, just couldn't do it. You know, give them credit. They played the later innings better than we did. John Hickey. Hey, Bob, how significant in the uh, in the third inning and in the fourth inning, you get leadoff home runs both times, then you get a couple of hits after each one, but can't add on. How, how significant is that for you guys? Well, you know, at the time, you're putting together good at bats and you feel good about where we are. You know, like I said, we have trouble early in games scoring runs, and we were, we were not. We were putting together some good at bats. Obviously, we, uh, you know, with the runners in scoring positions, wasn't our best today, but, you know, usually with our team and how we end up finishing games, both offensively and, and in the bullpen, we felt like we had a good chance. just didn't happen. Manolo Hernandez doing. Uh, hello, uh, Bob. In, on the positive side, how big was that inning? You know, the fifth, two men on, nobody out. Uh, here's three, four, five coming up on. You just made up Petit, get out of that inning. Can you talk a little bit about that effort? Yeah, I, I mean, we've seen him do it so many times, you kind of take it for granted. But, you know, the middle of their order, two left-handed bats. Uh, you look at his numbers against lefties this year over the course of the season, they were fantastic. So you feel good about it. But, you know, to get out with nothing and then, you know, to have a, a couple outs and nobody on the next inning, we felt like it lined up pretty good for us. It's just sometimes a couple of bats go the wrong way. But... You know, Petit does what he has all year. It's, it certainly isn't a surprise at this point. Ron Krojcik. Bob, what would you think about the way the ball was carrying? Uh, do you think some of those homers would have been out at night? And how much is that going to affect this series, since obviously all the games are in the daytime? Yeah, early on especially, it looked like some balls that, you know, just you get it in the air and hit it halfway good, it's going to go out. Not that, you know, some of those balls weren't hit really good, but... I mean, it, it typically does play a little smaller in the daytime here, but last time we played here at night, it played small too. It's just warm, the ball's carrying, and both teams got some guys that hit the ball apart. Martin Gallegos. Hey, Bob, you talked about Chris Davis, you know, kind of picking up your guys in the power side of things with Chapman out. Um, how big is that for this series just to see him break out like that in the first game? Yeah, that was huge. It puts us on the board, 2 nothing. You know, hits it kind of in a sweet spot out to right center field. Gets a hit the next time up. 
you know, he's been doing his best work here recently and started, you know, gave us a nice, uh, you know, a, a early lead that we feel good about when we have a lead, especially with bass on the mound. So, you know, he'll continue to get at bats as he should because, you know, he's, he's swinging the bat really well and it's postseason. And this is a guy that's done a lot of damage over the course of his career here. Susan Slusser. Bob, your team lost the game one last week in a much shorter series. What does that do, the, the you know, coming back and winning the next two, what does that do for the team now moving forward? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a longer series. Everybody wants to win game one, but, you know, we faced two elimination games that, and, and responded nicely. I expect the same tomorrow. Melissa Lockhart. Uh, I don't know if there's a, an answer for this, but you had two scoring opportunities after home runs um, in the middle innings there where there was runners on um, base, you know, with no outs. Is there something you'd like to see from your hitters do differently in those situations, maybe especially the one with second and third and no outs? Well, he's, you know, he's trying to hit the ball the other way, keep it in the air, similar to what Canna did with, you know, get a fly ball to right. That's what Ramon was doing. It looked like he just threw a breaking ball off the body that was a tough pitch to, to get a swing on. Um, and then, you know, pitched in tough to Murph and jammed him, couldn't get the ball in the air. They're, the, the approach, they know the approach. Um, Sometimes the other pitcher just combats it. Thank you, Bob. All right.